Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Ultima 9 Ascension. In our last video, the Avatar finished exploring the northern portion of this landmass surrounding Trinsic, then returned to Cove to pick up a missed treasure map, then to Minoc to buy a bunch of Mandrake root for a future spellbinding, and then to the Mathis Mines near you for another missed treasure map, then back to Britain to manage inventory and spells, and finally Trinsic once again to get staff training and to head up here for Dungeon Shame. Let's go. We had a map transition there. Um, that's a pretty obnoxious grinding stone noise. That's uh, not awesome. Oh, combat music. Let's, uh, be prepared. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, not really seeing the, uh, the issue. And, uh, can't seem to do anything through the force field because it's a force field, so... Looks like our only real option is to push the button. I did not do that. Now we'll push the button. Oh boy. Okay. That seems to have disabled the force field. This thing concerns me. What is it? Can we... Just snatch it out of the air? No? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, Avatar. Can we... attack it? Ah! Yeah, apparently. Okay, cool. Um... Well... Thank you. I think. And what do we have here? Oh, good. That really is the worst noise. I don't care for that. Okay, well, if I want to go in here... Okay, well, that eye is staring at the avatar. How about, what if I want to go in here? Can't do that. Because now this eye is staring at the avatar. So it looks like if the eye facing whichever portcullis that it can see can see the avatar, the portcullis is closed. Well, that could make things difficult. Can I just poke it in the eye? I mean, it's an eye. Can I... Ugh. No. Man, these guys need some eye drops, though. I will say that. You want me to cast Douse on you? That red eyes? No. Look, I was just trying to help. Oh. Well, there's a huge statue back there, too, but um, the sun has my interest. Um, touching it doesn't seem to have done anything, but we've learned from previous dungeons that shooting an arrow at these often has results. Huh. Okay, so something has happened here. That little bit of an angle might make it so that we can sneak through here before that eye can see the avatar and close the portcullis. No, not quite. Can we get more of an angle? Ah. Looks like it, so this ought to be... Yes, that was entirely possible. Oh. It looks like it returned to its original position, so... 
That might make getting out of here difficult. We'll have to figure that out later. I'm gonna put the Crook of Charming back on. Um, force field, so we're not getting through there. Oh, what the... Ow. That was another one of those weird spinny arrow dart things just went straight for the avatar we'll have to I was gonna say keep an eye out for it but it looks like we've got eyes everywhere so maybe not I like the potted plant is there anything to this I no, can't move it hmm. buttons and a pressure plate Hi, everybody. How are y'all doing? Well, that's... Okay. Won't do that again. Let's see about pushing some buttons here. I guess we could push the big red button. Huh. It's a weird little... Hellhound appeared right here. Okay. Uh, what do the other buttons do? Are you gonna shoot a fireball at me again? Doesn't look like it. It's unfortunate we have to uh, hear the combat music right now, even though they're doesn't really appear to be anything near the avatar. Maybe we can open the drill and close it to get that to stop. Sometimes that works. It doesn't appear to have this time. Okay, well, that one's staying there, so that's good. I guess we could... Oh. Okay. Ah. All right. So we need to get a face there. Oh, the music stopped. That's good. We need to get a face over here. No, nope, that's not the one. Nor is that. Nope. Oh, right there. Um, no, that's right behind the avatar. I don't think that's what we're after. There it is. Okay. So we have to start with this one first. And... Okay. So now that's gonna happen. Now this one... I don't know what's next. How about this? Oh, that worked. Maybe they're all in a row? Hey, I think they are. Okay. So this one... And the top row. Okay, this this could work. That's not that bad of a puzzle. And finally... Ooh. Okay. What is this, like, the floor is lava or something? <laughs> Let's find out. Oh. Hi, guys. Hey, listen. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, the floor is lava. Don't, don't step on the red. And you know something interesting? I don't know if this is a legs of Sauntry thing or what, but... Yeah, this is kind of getting ahead of things. Uh, the avatar is not meant to be up here right now. I just wanted to demonstrate that you can do that. Doesn't really help you or anything, but you can do it. Okay, well, we're not gonna walk on the lava. 
What's going on? Looks like there's a bit of the red. I mean, it's not actually lava. I'm just... Come on, didn't you play that when you were a kid? You know, that the floor was lava and you had to jump from all the furniture pieces to the... Whatever. Um, well, uh, once again, let's shoot the sun. Okay, that does help, I think, because there was no way we were going to get over there. Oh. Okay, well, we're not getting through that, whatever it is. Hello. Hello, eyeball. What about this? There's a green button right there. Oops. Haha, <laughs> that was sloppy. Run away! <laughs> Anyway, green button. And that was the force field that we saw when we first got through that portcullis, which might, uh, you know, getting through it again might prove to be a challenge. We'll have to see, but I guess this is a shortcut or something? I don't know. Doesn't matter yet, because there is still more to do here. Carefully. Does this do anything? Nope, that's... That's just the shade blade. Well, uh, I think it's pretty clear we want to go press that button. So... Okay, now it's back there, so we proceed. Alright. Let's push the button. Not sure what that has done. Oh wait, the uh, force field over there is gone. Well, that's good. Wait. Okay. Now that's moving again. We'll just jump this now. Ah. Okay. That is timed because pressing the button forced that eye to close and look the other way. But now it is back, and it can see the avatar, and so it reactivates the force field, and the avatar cannot proceed. So this must be done with no lollygagging. All right, let's go. Quickly, avatar. Oh, it's on the move. Ah, we did it. Hello. Okay, what do we have here? This is giving me nightmare flashbacks to the early parts of Ultimate 8, when you go through that cave to try to reach the plateau so you can meet Mithran, and you come to this room full of levers, and you just have to keep pulling them and hope something happens. Well, let's just see. Okay, that turned green. So did that one. So did that one. So did that one. I mean... We can keep doing this. Why not? Hi. Oh, you've reset them all. Alright, and there's your puzzle. If that creep sees you, all of your hard work comes undone. So we will have to always stay behind it. I don't think we have to get the levers in order, but we we do have to stay ahead of this fellow. Uh oh, nope, that that was uh that was sloppy. Alright, let's try it again. Just need to well keep an eye on the eye, really. getting them. I think we've actually gone all the way around. Indeed. 
Yeah, you can see me now, but I don't care. Because we appear to have made this happen. Hmm. And... Oh, you can't get on top of that. I was gonna... Oh, yeah, you can. And can the avatar jump up there? No. Oh, there's a force field right above the avatar's head here. Making that impossible. If we really wanted to be horrible, we could probably get there by using that other trick from earlier, but again, that's, that's not really the intended design of the dungeon, so we're not going to do that. All right, well, we're missing something. Uh, th there needs to be some item to place in that uh, receptacle. In fact, it looks a lot like the receptacles from Dungeon Deceit, so maybe we need a globe. Um, but I do need to get through here, so... Can we be very quick about it? Yes, we can be very quick about it. That's good. And we should see what's on this side now. Um, probably going to have to use the same trick again. Is that an... Well, it's in a weird halfway state. That's not helpful. Can you close it and reopen it for me? There we are. Let's see if the avatar can make it uh, like this. That's a no. We'll have to shoot it again. There we are. No problem. Hello. What? Whoa! Absolutely not! Okay, well we have seen that uh, getting these things shot seems to make things happen, and indeed, that made a thing happen. Okay. Onward. Those aren't very nice noises. He <laughs> tickles. Okay, well that just sparkled, so that's a pretty good indicator that we need to... What? Okay, so... These things shoot fireballs. That's awesome. Um... Do I have... What? Could you knock it off? Do I do this again? Ah, okay, there was also a nice... Whoa! Hmm. Let's just stand here and wait for, uh... One of the blue shots. Okay. There we are, okay. It's just timing. Just timing. Oh, not great. I'm just, I'm really curious, is... Okay, that one does something, too. I would definitely like to see... what's going on behind this one as well, so... Shoot me! Come on! No, not you. You're a jerk. Oh, that, that, uh didn't work out. The statue ate the, uh, the blue shot there. It's unfortunate. The blue orb or whatever. Those, the projectile. Whew, that one's very close. Hmm, I think we narrowly escaped taking damage. Or maybe we did take damage. I'm not sure. I wasn't paying attention. What do we have in here? It's really good to be out of that noise, too. That was pretty awful. Hey, a drum! Well, that's nice. Uh, looks like every potion except a red one. Hmm. I don't know if that's significant, but... Okay. Anything behind the skull? 
Nope. Alright. We'll do a quick heal. We have taken a little bit of damage from those fireballs. Hmm. Oh good, it's another one of those. That'll probably be way too quick for me to react when we do finally get through. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey. I was not ready for that. Could you not? Huh. Hey there, uh, Kairos. Okay. There's another blue projectile. So how does this work? What are you going to do? Whoa! Oh, I just stood there <laughs> and took it. Okay. All right. Okay. And I'm guessing now will be a blue projectile. Okay. Very good. What does this do? Oh boy. Okay. I think I see what's going to happen with this one. We've probably got to try to time this so that the blue... Oh, very close. Uh, I think that's what's got to happen here is that blue projectile's got to hit the face. So we have to be... What? <laughs> that didn't hit me. That's terrible. Well, we need to be where the... Oh, the face is gone. No! Oh. So here comes a fireball. Just need to avoid it. There we are. Oh, that kills the face. All right. That's no good. So let's just be where the face ought to... Nope, too far ahead. Okay, let's refresh the face. And we just need to uh, draw the fireball away. And now... Oh, you're not going to shoot over here? Nope, that's... This is, uh... This is not awesome. Let's get the fireball. Come on. Just get it out of your system. Okay. Very good. And now, the face... Let's just... Oh, that might do it. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Okay, and let's get the face refreshed. Oh, I don't know where the face is. Uh-oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. This is just, uh, not my day. Too far. Too far. I was too far ahead of the face. Come on. Just do the fireball. We're gonna get it this time. We're not gonna stay too far ahead of the face. We're gonna keep real close to it. There we are. That'll do it. Yeah. Okay. And we're rewarded with a zombie. You know how I mentioned I wasn't going to use the Staff of the Dead for everything? Hey. Do not. Yeah, so here's the Staff of the Dead. Double damage against undead. Every swipe. Uh-huh. It's... Um, it's, it's silly. That's why, um... That was putting it away. Okay. Well, that gave us a blue button here. But yeah, that's why I might just not really be using the Staff of the Dead all that much. Um, because it's kind of obnoxious. Just a little. Okay. That's an amethyst, huh? I'm gonna leave that there. And now we'll proceed to this area. That was... Uh-oh. Ow! I, I was gonna back up and get ready to try to you know, play baseball, hit it out of the air, but... Too slow. Oh, 
Okay. Um. Oh, buttons. What's this one do? Yeah, that's that's that huge uh, statue right there. Okay. Um. I didn't do anything. I mean, it made a funny noise. Well, that was fun. What does this button do? Okay, so the colors are just rotating. Um, what if we were to poke one of them while it is black? It's staying black. It's it's no longer rotating. Do any of the others do that? No. That's probably why we were shown the large black statue, was as a hint that we want to turn these statues black as well. So, I will endeavor to freeze them all on black, which is right after purple in the rotation. Oh, cool, now we got disco party statues, and there wasn't one here before. Just poke it, I guess? Mm, they're all red. Not my favorite color, but okay. What's in the chest? Ah, there we go. We got a globe, a black globe. I'm fairly certain we need that for that receptacle on the other side of the dungeon. So let's head back over there. Yes, hello. Oh, this again. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Um, we'll just do it again. There we are. Okay, and we're through. Now we're here, and here, and we'll head into this area with the receptacle, which will now receive this black globe. I gotta say, that is pretty cool. Because at this point you realize, hey, the upper level of the dungeon is not just scenery, it's more dungeon. I mean, we kind of figured that out because I jumped up here from the table earlier, but that's not what you're supposed to do. This is what you're supposed to do. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I, I heard you. Well, the Avatar will continue exploring Dungeon Shame by seeing what's here on this upper level in the next video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.